The Foundations of Success 27, How to Build the Good Life, an Overview. How do you build a good life for yourself? A life that is purposeful, full, and joyous. It's simple, really. How do you build anything? You have to build with the right ingredients and the right materials, and that starts with thinking. If you think well, and you pour good ingredients into your mind, and you build with things that are positive, you will build a good life. Idealize the perfect life for yourself. Imagine what all life would look like if it were perfect in every area. Work, family, friends, financial, hobbies, etc. Set big goals. Set the kind of goals that will make something of you to achieve them. Then start off on the journey to attain your ideal in each area of your life through positive, consistent action. What is the good life? Ask yourself what you want. Figure that out. Figure out a definite picture of exactly what you want in life for yourself. The good life is however you define it, but it simply is a realization of your greatest ideals in each major area of your life. The good life is becoming all that you wish and hope to be. And then ask yourself, what do I need to accomplish to get there? Chances are you already know the big steps that will get you there. In this Foundation of Success, we'll talk about exactly how to identify your ideals and how to ensure you reach each one of those ideals. Fortune favors the bold. Those who have stood out in history as being great have all done exactly what they had their minds and hearts set on. They weren't afraid to fail, but instead they took the chance to follow their passions and dreams. They encountered many obstacles, some failures, some burned bridges, but the fact is they dedicated themselves to their pursuits wholeheartedly. They cast off all fear of failure. They faced it head on and took the results as they came, both good and bad, and continued forward at all costs. Define your life, your wants, your purposes. If you don't define for yourself what the good life is, the world will define it for you, and you will be forever in pursuit of things you don't truly want and can't truly find purpose in. Behold and beware. Behold and beware. Behold the things that can happen. Behold the things that you want in your life, that you can make of your life. Behold the opportunities and the good things, but beware. Beware what it will cost you to earn your goals. Beware of what you may sacrifice in your pursuits. Beware the leadings of your lust and greed. Be wise with your life. Some things cost too much of us, and when we finally get them, we look back and see ourselves as a broken shell of who we once were our values and morals abandoned and left adrift on the ocean's tides. This is not the good life. Again, I say behold and beware. Count the cost. Make sure that you know where you're going and what it will cost you to get there. So many times success comes with an absolute cost. Once a person knows how to be successful, they pursue it to no end and they finally look back after achieving their goals and maybe cost them too much. Know yourself. Know yourself. Know what you stand for. Know your virtues, your values, your beliefs about the world and the way things should be and make sure you don't step outside of that. Dealing with unhappiness and worry. A small amount of unhappiness is constructive. Too much and it's destructive. A small amount of worry is constructive. Not the kind of worry that kills you. Not the kind of worry that destroys you. But the worry that fuels you to be productive and precise. Don't get caught up in worrying about the things that don't really matter in life. Worry destroys and kills. When we really break down life by creating such a great civilization as we have today, we've both blessed and cursed ourselves. Life truly is simple. We need food, we need shelter, and we need relationships. All of that is accessible to us so pure and so simply, and yet we have complicated these things. Not necessarily for the worse, but complicated all the same. We don't just want shelter, a tent in the woods of which any man can easily survive. We want a large house, a mansion, a castle of our own. This is all well and good. Pursue your dream home. Live the life you want, but don't forget that it's simply a glorified tent for shelter. Don't fall into the trap of thinking glamorous relationships are worth more than simple, pure, honest friendships. We all want to feel important, so we strive for wealth and success in order to appear high and lofty, and yet oftentimes relationships crumble at those levels because they are built on pretenses, not truth. Don't neglect honest, deep, and pure relationships in your pursuit of what you want. 
Set up for yourself a pursuit of the good life, but don't forget that there is no need to worry. You can have all of the basic necessities of life in an instant if you were to take your eyes off the complicated improvements of these things. So strive for them, but don't let them ruin your life with worry. How is stress good? In what scenario is stress helpful? According to experts, stress can actually benefit you, but in small amounts. You need to tell the difference between good stress and bad stress and cut loose the stress that is not productive and helpful for you. In its biological position, stress is a burst of energy that helps advise you on what to do and when. In small doses, stress can provide many benefits and advantages, such as helping you rise to the occasion and meet daily challenges and demands. It can motivate you to give it your all to get out of a stressful situation by conquering the task rather than shrinking to it. It can motivate you to reach your goals and help you accomplish tasks with more efficiency. It can even boost your memory according to studies. So learning to use stress effectively in your life is something we'll take a closer look at in the full foundation of building the good life. Discipline your disappointment. Disappointment can either propel us to improve or it can hold us back in condemnation of ourselves. Learn to discipline your disappointment. Things that you can control and improve upon, do. Learn to let that disappointment drive you forward into improvement. When you realize you haven't given it your all, you didn't go the extra mile, and you failed to get the results you were seeking because of an error or neglect on your part, let that disappointment sink in and teach you that you have more potential than you gave. This kind of disappointment is productive if you let it spur you towards improvement. However, the things that you cannot control, that are outside of your doing, that disappoint you, learn not to let that hold you back. Life is full of disappointments. How to view money. Keep money in its proper place. It is a servant, nothing more. It is a useful tool to do good, provide comfort and needs, a means to enjoyment, etc. Too much emphasis on money reverses the whole picture. You then become the servant and money the master. Money is a wonderful servant and a terrible master. Such an important part of the good life is keeping a proper perspective of money and its role in your life. Work with the right people. To get the results you want for your life, you'll have to sift through a lot of people to find those who are pursuing their own version of the good life and becoming the best they can become. Most people you meet won't click with you on this level. Don't fault them for it, but don't work with them either. Find those who you admire, whom you respect, and who will be a healthy, positive addition to your life. Additionally, live a sucker-free lifestyle. You can tell right off the bat which people will add value to your life, which people you would work with and would like to work with, and which ones you would not. Don't ever think for a second that will change. Follow your instincts. Show me your friends and I will show you your future. Similarly to who you work with, who you surround yourself with will perhaps have the greatest influence on your life and your outcomes. We are most influenced by those we spend the majority of our time with, and this has a tremendous impact on our lives and our values. My mentor in college used to tell me, show me your friends and I will show you your future. Look at those you spend the most time with and you will become almost exactly like them. Therefore, take stock of who you spend your time with and make sure you are building the life you want with people you admire. To maximize your life, be influenced in the right way, and have the greatest amount of impact and influence on others, we need to spend time with people in three levels of life. Those who are further along than us, those who are at our level, and those who are below us. If you follow this formula, you will maximize your life. We'll talk about the specifics of this as well as give the life formula and the full foundation of building the good life. How to make big achievements. Big achievements come through small advantages achieved over time. Happiness does not come from big chunks of success and achievement, but rather through one small advantage after another, hammered out over time. Know your goals. Look at your goals every day and learn to ask yourself at the start of your year, what five to ten big things would make this the best year of my life? Write them down and look at them every day and move closer to them every week. Realize that your days are your life in miniature. Take care of each day and a great life will take care of itself. A successful life is nothing more than a collection of successful moments repeated frequently and celebrated often. The conclusion then is how exactly do you craft the best life possible for yourself? You have to know what that life looks like. You define it for yourself by idealizing it in every area. Ask yourself, what would the perfect life look like for me in every major area of life? 
Once you've defined the ideal life for yourself, you can begin to move towards it. Those who are happy in life have defined their dreams and desires and set goals for themselves. They count the cost required of them for accomplishing each dream and they make sure that their dreams are their own, not someone else's imposed on them. Learn to know yourself. Know and define your core values in life, your virtues, your morals, and your purposes. What drives you? What upsets you? What do you count as an injustice in this life? Make sure that you don't do those things then, ever. In fact, make sure you are actively helping people avoid committing those injustices on any and every level of life and you will feel fulfilled. Know your whys for wanting success. Let them drive you and make sure they are worthy reasons. Learn to deal with unhappiness, worry, and stress. Discipline your disappointments and make your stresses work for you and for your benefit rather than against your health and well-being. Earn great amounts of money by understanding success is a responsibility and a blessing, but keep money your servant, never your master. Work with the right people and surround yourself with those who will encourage and inspire you. Always be mentored in life and always be a mentor. Find like-minded people to enjoy life with. Achieve big things and strive for lofty goals, but keep your contentment in life. That life indeed is a joy, not a stress. Any amount of achievement you get above and beyond your basic needs of shelter, food, and relationships should be a value added to your foundation. Don't set your foundation in the stars or it won't have anything to rest on. But if you set your foundation on earth and build to the stars, you can enjoy the view. Finally, know your goals so well that you can recite them each day and know what you're working towards. If you follow these things and take time to define them for yourself, you will surely be working your way towards your own personal version of the good life. Join me, won't you, as a fellow connoisseur of the good life. Learn the foundations of success. By this point, I'm sure you're intrigued and wondering what else there is to know that can help you live the life that you have always desired. If you'd like to go further in depth with this principle, and others like it and better understand it, I've prepared a program for you called the Foundations of Success. In it, you will learn all of the fundamentals of how to become successful and what it takes to get rich. Let the Foundations of Success program assist you on your road to wealth. Click the link in the video description below to begin your journey on the path to riches. And what then are the Foundations of Success? As we set off on this journey together, I will teach you the Foundations of Success and help walk you through a series of what I have come to understand are the crucial foundations for becoming successful and gaining wealth. I have developed over the last few years of study, research, and application a full guide that has not only changed my life around, but if given the chance, can also change yours. I've labeled this highly valuable program the Foundations of Success because it contains what I believe to be the most crucial and foundational ideas, concepts, and principles that you absolutely need to understand and apply in order to truly achieve success in your life. And this video is a summary of the Foundation of Success 27, How to Build the Good Life. The Foundations of Success course I've created is extensive in its value simple in its approach, strategic in its knowledge, and easily accessible to you. All you have to do is follow a link and your life could change in an instant. And I know that life is daunting and change is hard, so should you desire to first get a taste of what the foundations of success are all about, I've created these short blog posts to give you some key insights into what you'll learn in each foundation of success within the program. All of this content is found in these short video summaries. So watch and listen to your heart's content and follow each video post to gain a preliminary understanding. This information alone can do wonders for your life. But should you choose to be serious about changing your life, improving your current situation, and beginning your journey on the path to riches, the full scope of the Foundations of Success course is always available to you via the link in the video descriptions below. So thank you for watching. I'm Mackay Block with Limitless North, and I will see you on the next one.